Hi everyone! So today is a very sunny day. Uh, I was a little outside uh, and I don't really much like it because there's much sun in the monitor. But also, we're launching the Google Reviews widget for any platform. Uh, so I'm gonna do a short demo of that to show you guys what uh, we've been building. So here's a like Google Maps, like regular like Google stuff, and then say you have a business, like Beaver Codes, and then it has a bunch of reviews here, and then you might have a fancy website too, right? And then you, you just wanna put these reviews here, like so that people that come to your website see that you're pretty cool, that you <laughs> managed to bribe some people to give you positive reviews. Uh, and that's what the widget is for. It sort of helps with SEO too. Uh, so it's just uh, reviews.beavercodes. I'm gonna leave a link somewhere. You can test it and please let me know if you broke it. <laughs> and then we just put in an email. That hopefully will send us a confirmation email uh, to sign up. So we can click this link. So now we're starting to configuring our first widget here. Uh, we can name it, like cool website. It's not important. But then we can also uh, search for the business. So we can search for beaver codes here. E maybe. Yeah, this is the one. Cool. So now it uh, loaded the reviews. We can already see the correct reviews here. Um, and then we can tweak it a little bit. So say I like it full screen, so I can do this. Um, I can ignore the ones without like text in it. And there's more options. So let's not do that now. And then finally, when I'm ready, I can do add to website. Uh, what I get here is the code that actually runs the widget on any website. So I can just copy it. And then on my website here, this is a WordPress, you know, built website. So I can just edit page here. Uh, this differs based on what kind of application you're using. But I can just say plus add a new blog, HTML, hopefully I learned to type one day, <laughs> custom HTML is what we want. So let's just drag this guy here. And then we can paste the code we've seen before. Uh, and that's basically it. We can click a preview here. And I'm, I'm on a little bit slow internet, so this takes forever. But let's see if we update it. And then view page. Ta-da! So this is it. Uh, and if we go back here, I can tell you a little bit more how this works. So as you can see in the code here, we have one diff with the ID of the instance. And then there is a script, a JavaScript script. <laughs> so that script kind of looks at this ID here and then goes to our backend and figures out what the re reviews to show. Um, yeah, and then it kind of all updates. So if we go to edit here, and say we change, we don't want full width anymore. Uh, so that updates automatically, so we can just refresh the page here and you can see that it's contained now. And yeah, but that, that, that was it. Uh, so thank you for watching and then uh, see you next time. Bye.